What's up gamers, this is Epic Matrix and welcome to my Ice Gauntlet and Rapier build. Right, first, we'll be starting by talking about the Ice Tempest Tree and going over the Ice Gauntlet's abilities and perks. Uh, first you have Ice Storm and Ice Shower as your abilities. You'll be taking Cold Reach and all of the other perks that are associated with the Ice Gauntlet that are just plain out right good. Energized Critical is fantastic. Heavy Freeze is wonderful. Critical Rejuvenation is really strong in the game. Uh, Gathering Storm helps you maintain mana. Critical Frost is also great. Ice Shower in general is just a good AoE ability. Allows you to slow your opponents. Weaken and Gust enhances it. Storm Summoner is great as well. You want to take Punishing Storm. Pause the video if you need to read the abilities, guys. And last but not least, Ultimate Chill. Jump over to the Builder Tree, you're going to grab Quick Frost. Empowered Frost. Ice Shower, not to get confused with Ice Storm. Enduring Shower is a perk. Quick Shower is an upgrade. And frigid Showers as the last upgrade for Ice Shower. And Defiant Freeze as the last perk in the Builder Tree. And your last skill is going to be Entombed. Yo guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content and want to see more. All these abilities allow you to deal damage while still being able to survive and crowd control your opponent. Alright, let's move on to the Rapier Tree. For the rapier, I like to get two points in the blood and take the rest into grace. Grace is awesome because it gives you a lot of mobility as well as defense. In the blood tree, you'll get a lot of dot DPS, but I like the grace tree for evade. Evade allows you to dodge. After that, I take breathe in, allegro, adagio. And crescendo. I also take controlled breathing while skipping perfectionist and skipping desperation. I'll take the Fletch ability, which is an awesome ability. Quick lunge. Backside. An interruption. I also take repost for a defensive ability. Red curtains for more damage. Insult to injury. Priority. And lasting consequence. While getting my ultimate perk, Momentum, at the very end. Again guys, if you want to read these abilities and see what they do, you can go ahead and just pause the video and take a moment to read them. Hey guys, stick around to the end. After this short demonstration, I'll be showing you guys a PvP fight I've had with some commentary. So this first ability I, I'm going to use here is called Ice Shower. If you walk through it, you gain a small haste for your, your character to allow you to put some distance between you and your opponent. Also, if your opponent gets stuck in Ice Shower, they'll get stunned. And if you hit them with a heavy attack, they'll get stunned further and you'll deal with critical damage. The circle ability I just landed, that's Ice Shower. Ice Shower allows you to gain a small speed boost while inside of it from one of your perks and it also slows down your opponent while doing AoE damage to all targets in the zone. This ability is Entomb. It allows you to become invulnerable to attacks for a short duration of time. Um, also, you can activate it again by left-clicking to erupt and explode and deal damage to your opponents and knocking them back a short distance. This is a great ability for surviving and to negate 
crowd control abilities that enemy players are trying to do to you, or if they're just trying to gank and beat up on you, you can kind of like negate all that damage and roll away. Hey, what's up guys? So this is the commentary that I'm going to be doing on a PvP fight. I don't have any in-game sound because I was in Discord at the time and a lot of my friends' voices were in the video, so I just had to like ixnay the, the audio for the PvP fight, but I'll be telling you what uh, what I'm thinking and what I'm doing as the video goes on. Uh, so I'm chasing a Syndicate player here with all intent to kill him. Uh, I'm using Fletch to close the gap and trying to hit him with heavy attacks. He's moving around, dodging a lot. He drops an ice shower on me. And he's trying to tag me with his ice gauntlet while staying on the bridge. I want him to get off the bridge, so I put ice shower on it. Uh, so he hops off, and now we're on uh, level ground together. I get uh, snuck up on by a gator and uh, another mob. So I go up onto the bridge and I try to jump off. Uh, just to lose aggro, uh, so I don't potentially die from being aggroed by a gator. Uh, it seems like the guy's like tagging me and the gator won't give up so I like run away. Which is what you should do if you're getting chased by mobs. You should just run away. Try not to fight them. Uh, get them to lose aggro on you. And I turn around to fight it and then it decides to retreat. But yeah, just run away far, far, far enough so the mob or whatever that's uh, attracted to you just loses aggro for interest, and then go back and onto the player. So I drop ice shower right in front of him, just like blur his vision and tag him a little bit. He's trying to use his musket against me and his, and his ranged ice gauntlet, and I just think again, yeah, I just want to close the gap on this guy. I don't want to like allow him to just use two ranged weapons against me the entire time um, so uh, I use Fletch to get inside uh, he drops ice shower on me and an ice storm he also lands the ice spikes right there which is really good you can double activate your ice spike to you know give you more uh, range and utility and that's what he did and uh, it actually hit me so it was pretty good um, so we're just dueling it out right now. I used my repost to block a couple of his auto attacks. I'm dropping my ice shower on him. I'm rolling. I'm staying right on top of him because he just wants to keep his distance and kite the whole time. Um, trying to use my ice shower to stun him, but I missed. I use my fletch here. I get some big damage on him, and then I finish him off. Yo, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And leave a comment below if you want to see more content like this. Feel free to join my Discord. It'll be linked in the description below. Um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, and I hope you're going as hard as I am on New World uh, upon release. So I'll see you guys in Eternal. Peace.